hi welcome back to my channel today i have a new video and with this new video comes new hair or with this new hair comes a new video should i say it that like that but i ordered this wig from bobby boss i'm gonna be reading the details because i didn't remember anything so i'm not should have been prepared for this video but oh well so like I said, this is from Bobby Boss. It's premium synthetic. It's a metal part. Um, I didn't pluck it yet, so I don't feel like it was that necessary. And this is in the color 1B. I wanted a 1, but they were out of stock. And I feel like this is close enough. Like, now that I think about it, like, this is better. And this wig is in the style Yara. Like, what did I... I think it was K and Kosh. It was K. She was doing the, um, a wig lookbook. And the video caught my attention. So I watched it. And I saw this wig on there. I was like, I need to find that wig. But the one she had was blue. And I also got the blue one. So right now I just have one the black one. But this is how the blue one looks. And I'm like super excited about that. Like, I don't know. Like, I usually stay away from color. But I want it to be different. Step outside of the box. And you know get some fun here for the summer so this is like a block cut bob you can see in the back Let me turn around. and like i don't know i just feel like it fits me like at first i was nervous like when i first put on the wig i was like oh my goodness i'm not gonna look right it's gonna look too wiggy but this hair is like super soft i wish i could feel it like through this camera like it's that soft and it's not like too shiny to where it's like super synthetic looking. Like this doesn't even look synthetic if you ask me. And it's like, you know, at an angle, blunt cut. And this is my first time having a style like this. So, yeah, I was super excited. So, let me show you how it comes. So, I did have to cut the lace. Let me show y'all. This is the lace. And the part, it already looks realistic. I feel like on this one I might have to pluck it a little more but and then it's like it's not big like usually when I wear like a regular size wig it's like too big then it's lumps and you could like go like that and it's like a bumpy type of wave in the wig but this isn't like that like it fits on my head perfectly and they also have combs and adjustable straps and I don't even have my straps like connected like and this wig is not going anywhere and it says it's um heat style and say but i would not put any heat on it just because like i wanted to stay this way but like look at this blue like i can't wait to try this one on so. and then this this wig that i had on was 38 dollars and this one with the color is 40 and they have like so many options they have like blonde um brown with highlights and honey blonde and they have purple which i think i'm gonna get the purple one next because like look at this so um i'm gonna show you how i cut the lace and prep it for my head so first you want to take out the little tag that's in here so i'm gonna cut that off And now I'm going to cut the lace. You want to be extra careful because you don't want to cut into the wig. So let me see if I can show y'all. Because you could just briskly start cutting anywhere. You want to make sure all the hair is out of the way. And the closer you get to the hairline, the more realistic it looks. You can go through and get more precise. just come back to y'all when it's all 
ready. So I have all of the lace cut off. Um, it's not perfect, but it'll do. So I'm just gonna start like making this part look a little bit more realistic. It already does, but like in the beginning, I like for it to be less dense. Then the hair that you plug, you just want to brush it out. I feel like that's good enough. I don't want to overdo it and end up messing it up. So I'm going to take this one off and put this one on and see how I look because this will be my first time with the blue hair. And I had my mama braid my hair and I told her I wanted to part right down the middle and she said this is down the middle. Okay. So you definitely want to wear a wig cap because stuff we yanked out your hair before. I put it on. I'm going to oil my scalp because I haven't done that yet. And I'm using my Wild Grow. That's how it looks. I'll just take the little plastic off. I just bought it yesterday. I needed some more. So, I'm just going to go in here. Down in here because it itches. I'm going to put these little braids in the little ponytail. I wish I had rubber bands, but I hate rubber bands. Okay. So I looked down and there was hair everywhere. I guess it's from plucking, so I don't think it sheds like that. So I'm just going to assume it's because I plucked it. wig is super snug oh my goodness I look pretty with it oh my gosh I could lay my edges down or I could just leave them alone, which that's what I'm going to do because they're not showing, so. I'm going to get rid of the last few shedding pieces from plucking it. So this is perfect, like, because I'm going up to college again soon. And when I don't want to do my hair, I just throw these on. And it looks like I had put some effort into it. So, it's my blue hair. So, man, I'm in love. Like, why haven't I tried this sooner? See, next time y'all see me, I'm going to have some purple hair. So this isn't really a review it's kind of like an initial initial review slash unboxing I was just showing y'all the hair and how I put on my wig so um the part I mean I could pluck it some more but it'll do for now I feel like this really complements my skin tone I don't know what I was scared about like trying colored hair but yeah this is it. and again this is the Yara wig the blunt cut wig so and they have them in all shades I will leave the link down below and if y'all want to update a review or a two week review just let me know so thank you all for watching